Hi, my name is Tom Casey, and I wanted to do a quick short video today on your limousine company and car service company. Uh, basically, the purpose of this video is just to compare you with one of your competitors in terms of where you show up in search results when people are searching online for limo service in Minneapolis. Okay, and today I'm just going to cover two factors that I want to run by you because I want to keep this video short. Um, but before I jump into that, I want to show you how many people are searching online for limo service. This is a tool from Google. It actually goes out and does a monthly count of search terms. What you're looking at here is for the last 12 months from February on back, uh, this is how many people were searching for limo service in Minneapolis, okay? Numbers are a little bit all over the place, but that's rounded up to the nearest 10. So this was 480 back in March, 590. It starts to go up here, 590, 880, 1000 in November, 880, January 720, and February 390. That's a lot of people searching for limo service. So I thought this would be a good exercise. So I went over here to Google, did a search for limo service in Minneapolis. This is page one right here. Okay, let's see where I find you. You are right here, Twin Cities Car Service. And you are on page four, okay? So as I mentioned, I wanna just look at two factors today. These two factors are something that search engines consider when they're doing rankings. However, they obviously consider more than two, but because I'm going to keep this thing short, we're just going to look at these two today. And I'm going to compare you with somebody on this page using those factors. And we're going to see if there's any differences. If there are differences, if there's anything that can be done about those differences to help you out and move you up in search rankings. Okay? So we're going to use Aspen Limousine for comparison. Let's go look at the very first factor. This is something called citations. A citation is a listing for your business on a directory site. It's a name, address, phone number listing. Okay? And I want to give you an example. This website here actually goes out and finds uh, directory sites. Here's a directory site called Merchant Circle. So if Twin Cities Car Service had a listing on Merchant Circle, name, address, phone number listing, that would be considered one citation. Okay? Search engines like citations. The more, the better. They feel it makes you more legitimate as a business, therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do. All right? Now, at the top of this page, we actually can do a count for uh, citations, count for businesses. And I put you in here. It's telling me it's not finding any for you. Um, so maybe there's a variation, some a little bit of variation on your name or whatnot. But this is saying zero. Either way, <laughs> when I look at Aspen Limo, they have 105. So that's a big difference. But the good news is this. You can quickly and easily get added to these sites. So we could add 60, 70, 80 citations to your site, to your business, in short order. And when we do that, it's going to have a very nice positive impact in terms of where you show up in search rankings. You definitely would move up. Okay. So that's citations. The second and last factor I want to talk about is something called backlinks. Backlinks are important. Your backlink is a link from one website to your website. As an example, if there was a website called MinneapolisLimoSupplies.com, and on that site they had a link to TwinCitiesCarService.com, which obviously goes to your website, that's considered one backlink. Okay? Now, search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations. Again, for similar reasons, they feel it makes you more legitimate as a business, and therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you. Okay? So, this website here actually does a backlink count for you. And it's telling me you have, the number we want to look at is unique actives. Tell me you have 23 unique active backlinks. Okay? Let's look at Aspen. Okay, they have 34. So that's a bit of a difference. But they also have a higher score here, too. And that's another reason they're ranking higher than you. Link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are that are coming into your site. And it's based on how strong the website is it's linking to you. The better and stronger the website, the higher that score is going to be. Now, technically, you really should get this up closer to 30%. So what does that mean to you? Well, if we just added 10 good quality backlinks to your site and got your score up, you know, if we made sure those links were coming from good quality websites and got this score up to like a high 20% or low 30%, that would be huge for you. You would really jump in search rankings. Definitely would move up a lot um, so more people should find you. All right? So again, we just talked about two things today, citations and backlinks, but you learned that there are differences between you and someone on the other page of Google. You also learned that there are steps we can take 
to eliminate and mitigate those differences. And when we do, with just these two factors alone, have a nice big positive impact on when you show up in search results, you definitely would move up, all right? So I hope you found this was helpful. This is what I do for a living, but I don't charge for consulting. So if you want more information about what I talked about today, that's free. If you want me to cover other factors I talk about with my other customers, that's free. If you want me to review your website, that's also free. There's no cost, there's no obligation. So go ahead and give me a call if you like, or uh, we can shoot, or just shoot me an email as well, either way. That works. So anyway, that's it for today. Have a great day. Bye now.